Hi there. In this lesson, we'll go over how to create functions in JavaScript. A function is a block of reusable code that's used to perform a single task. We use functions in our code to break our program into smaller parts, make our program more readable, and to avoid creating repetitive code. Let's look at the parts of a function. The function keyword, the function name, and the code body. Whenever the code in the code body is to be executed, we can call the function by its function name. For example, let's say we want to create a game where players roll a pair of dice numerous times. The code of this program looks repetitive, and as we add more logic to the program, it would definitely become harder to read. Instead of writing this block of code over and over again in our program, we could include it in a function called roll dice. Whenever we need the roll dice function to be used, we call it in the main function. To call or use a function, we write the name of the function, in this case roll dice, followed by a pair of parentheses and end the line with a semicolon. Functions are reusable, so we can call this roll dice function more than once. Let's go to the editor to see another example. We're going to create a program that runs a few different functions. In each function, we're going to print to the console. So what we're going to do first is add our main function. This is the primary function that runs our program. And then we're going to print to the console. So we'll do console log and inside our parentheses we'll say the main function runs first all right and don't forget our semicolon at the end and now we're going to call a couple more functions we're going to call a print second function and add our semicolon at the end and a print third function all right, we haven't written those functions yet, but we're going to call each one of those. So let's do the second one first. We'll do the print second function. We'll add that. And to the console, we will print this will print second. And don't forget your semicolon again. And we're also going to do a third function. And this one is print third. And for this print third function, we're going to print to the console again. This will print third. And don't forget your semicolon again. Now, everything looks good. We've got everything all set up, except in order to kick this program off, we need to call that main function to get things going. So at the bottom of our program, we're going to call the main function. And don't forget your semicolon again. Now let's run this program, and we see the main function runs first. This will print second. This will print third. And they fall in that sequence. 